All right, gonna see if I can repair this uh, governor from a TH350 and reuse it. Uh, these governors are not cheap relative to say a 700 or Ford governor. Uh, you could be paying anywhere from between 90 and 100 bucks, maybe even more depending upon where you go and, and where you source it. But uh, the main problem with governors is that when you're, um, <clears throat> when you're actuating the weights like this, the valve in here should be moving freely. You, know, you should see it move. Uh, this one's got all kind of crud and dirt mixed up in there. Uh, as you can see, the gear itself's, you know, worn out and it's got, you know, uh, dirt and grit. So um, I imagine there's a ton of dirt and grit in here. So uh, what we want to do is remove this roll pin, um, get this gear out of the way, and then uh, get the valve out of the way so that we can recondition this bore um, and if necessary, smooth out or recondition the valve a little bit. And then uh, we have a new gear that we can install along with a new roll pin and <clears throat> it's got uh, new you know finish nails the uh, actual um you know levers or or, or or weight rods whatever you want to call them um these look fine though i don't i don't know that i need to replace them but uh to reuse the governor uh, I need to have that valve moving freely back and forth in there. Otherwise, it's, you know, transmission is either not going to upshift or if it does upshift, it may not downshift or you'll have all kind of shifting or drivability problems. Um, as far as the springs and the weights themselves, uh, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what sort of application this transmission is going to go into. Um, I'm building it up more or less just to, you know, I have a core, it's laying around, so I figured I would build it up and, then maybe sell it on the open market once I filmed everything. However, uh, <clears throat> I would need to know, um, you know, application and details like converter stall and desired shift point and uh, shift points rather, gear ratio, you know, final drive and all that good stuff before I um, made any decisions around what to do with respect to setting the governor up or calibrating it for a specific type of application. So. Anyway, to knock the uh, roll pin out, I'm gonna use a 1 8 uh, inch roll pin punch. Uh, I got a, a big bushing driver here with a hole in the middle so that the pin has something to fall into and I'm gonna stabilize it with another bushing uh, driver. So sometimes the gear breaks. If that happens, then uh, I'll have to fiddle, you know, with getting the you know piece of gear that's still stuck in there. So if that happens, then uh, usually you could force out the valve and the valve, you know, or wedge the valve, pry it downward, and that'll force out that piece of gear stuck. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so surprisingly, it did not um, break. Uh, I had another governor on this thing just a second ago, so that's why there's a, another roll pin there. All right, so there's the, the valve inside. And then we need to gain access to it. You can see it right there, right in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, pry downward. See if I can get it to move. Here it comes. All right, so I'm gonna wipe it off and look at it. So for the most part, it looks okay. I mean, you, you, you definitely have, I don't know if that's scoring or if that's just, you know, no, that wasn't scoring, that was just dirt and grime. I could probably clean these lands up a little bit, all three of them, and then, 
you know, I'll go ahead in here with a bench buddy and I'll clean this out. So these are bench buddies. Um, if you're going to build a lot of transmissions, it's something that you definitely want to have around because they're great for reconditioning valve body bores, uh, you know, sleeve bores, uh, governor bores, anything that uh, requires, uh, you know, very, 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 very light surface honing and, um, you know, removal material. So, so just run it through. Whole bunch of passes. And then I'll see if the valve kind of moves around on its own. My guess is no, but we'll see. Yeah, not not a whole lot of movement. I mean, it's it's it seems like it's moving a little bit. All right, it's moving a little bit. So that's kind of what you want to see. You want to see it move freely. So I might have lucked out with this. I may not have to recondition the valve itself, which I prefer not to do. I mean, if, you know, if at all possible, I'd like to just leave it alone. All right. I'm going to put the gear in. Forgive me for some of this uh, shoddy camera work. Looks like I'm gonna have to drill this. All right, let me go locate a drill. And then we'll, uh, we'll drill it. Stand by. All right, have a um, eighth inch drill bit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, drill through that uh, little gear there and then stake it with the pin. Thank you. 
I'm gonna just finish it off with a drift. All right, so this is done. So like I said, I'll deal with the weights and the springs once I know uh, what it's going into and what I need to do with respect to, you know, setting it up and calibrating it. All right, well, that's, that's governor repair.